My I don't think these biggest games. regret in life was um, giving up my kids. The reason I gave up my first kid was, well, I, I had him because I was raped. At the time, I thought he was my best friend. We were, you know, hanging out and and everything. Like, he was a couple years older. Like I, I figured, because I, I knew his sister, and then we got close. I, I mean, I liked him anyways, but I don't know. It, it's, it's a weird story. Like, I would have been willing to because like I liked him but he just kind of forced himself on me when I wasn't ready when we went to court and everything <clears throat> he uh he admitted that he had it all planned out which I figured because he had called me up and he was like hey uh my sister her phone said or whatever but she said you know come over uh she's just running in the corner store which she wasn't she was actually like out of town for a karate thing and like that's where their parents were like they they went there and he you know since he was old enough he stayed home um so he had it like all planned out and everything and uh so i went over expecting whatever for her to show up at some point and then all of a sudden i just remember him like holding me down it it was definitely one of those um postmortem depressions and all of that like it's, it's very it's a very real thing and then the second one um i really wanted to keep her but like i just wasn't in the right frame of mind nor did i have the money and i was kind of like living house to house and it wasn't a very good situation for her so i felt like it was the best thing for her and i wanted to keep the first one but i don't know like it was just one of those things that like I, I hate to say it, but every time I looked at him, I just thought about how he came about, you know. You know it was just a, a bad situation that I had to do what I had to do. And I feel like, I mean, I keep in contact with the families. They're very happy. The one's six now and the other one's four. So obviously I wanted to try. I wanted to try with both of my kids, and I did, you know. I, I tried for like a year and it just kind of kept coming back to, I couldn't give them this, what they needed. Besides, I mean, emotionally, yes. Emotionally and supporting and loving and all of that, but like I couldn't give them more of what like they needed. I mean, I, I've gone through two attempts, so I, I know exactly how it is. Like everybody on earth can give you like all the love and support possible. But really, it's up to you to, you know, fight the demons, you know. It happened a, a long time ago, so it doesn't really hurt as much, so. Year worth of span of time, um, I've healed a lot. I met somebody who, unfortunately, we've had, like, a lot of issues, but at the same time, we've helped each other quite a bit. Um, like, she helped me break down my walls and, like, finally get on track of like healing and like letting stuff go and I, I had a, a lot of issues and I used to be on like a, like 16 things of medication and all this other stuff like it, it, was, it was pretty bad and now I'm like on half of that and things are still getting better like every day. It used to be so bad to the point where like even just thinking about it somebody mentioning it that alone would bring me to tears. I understand that like stories like mine, they do affect people, you know, because like a lot did happen and some people take away things, you know, like they, they walk away from it going, all right, now I know a little bit more.